uh, Institute of Technology and then has made a great career for himself as a center. And he played at Rose Holman, who was his head coach at that time? That would be myself. But he will call it fair and balanced down the middle, no doubt about absolutely, that. Absolutely, absolutely. Thanks for joining us for Indy 11 Soccer on my Indy TV and ESPN Plus. And Yunus Budati, a target getting forward from that right back position. Blake, it's been that type of year for him. We're in a ball. He is dogging in his pursuit of Allen. Tremendous ball from Allen. Dos Santos makes a cutting run in behind. And Otel has to make a diving save. That ball was. Chapman Page plays the long ball. Graham Smith got there first. Malloy, a bit of a nudge. Play on. Jack Blake with a left foot. Diving save by Adam Grinwis. Grinwis there on your screen. He is a veteran. He turns 32 next weekend. However, he's largely been a, a, a reserve keeper in Major League Soccer. He's not had that much playing experience. He's getting plenty of it this year with the battery at the other end. He causes a slide throw, and Charleston is on the board. The battery get the first goal of the match in minute number 20. Emilio Icaza finds the back of the net. Little ball one at the top of their attacking third. Icaza pushes it out to Markanik. Finishes his run. Markanik finds him in the box. One touch. Quickly. Schneider. Budani trying to find Williams. Williams has a hit. Does not get through. Same can be said in the follow-up for Jack Blake. Brilliant jog by Segbers. You got one of the, the best scorers in the USL Championship on the edge of the six with the ball at his feet and Segbers throws himself in front to make sure that all the windows are closed. Here's Ekoba. Ekoba has a hit. He <laughs> Welcome to Indy, Tega Ikoba. The Indy 11 of time at minute number 27. It is time to cue the smoke in Indianapolis. Well, we have referenced the fact that Indy has gotten down a goal to nil in four of their six matches so far this year. In all four of them, they have scored the next goal to level the match at a goal apiece. And, and it's been quick. And you look at this here. Uh, center back jumps a little bit outside. It's Smith just slides a little bit out in front of Grinwis's. For Ikoba, he becomes the fifth different score for the Indy 11 this season. This is his fourth match, his second start. Played in 170 minutes coming in. And he keeps the accelerator pressed down. Stanley, back post, Guenzani! Oh, Sebastian Guenzani gets his second goal of the season, both in front of the home fans in Indianapolis. From a goal down to a goal up in a matter of two minutes. Stock up some more smoke in the Brickyard <laughs> Battalion. This is Aiden Stanley. Aiden Stanley on the outside delivers a ball in the middle, recognizes that he is open and he is calling for the ball. He's waving his hands. He's screaming for it. They deliver it to him. He gets the ball past Segbers. Guenzati does. An IUPUI is a member of the Summit League Denver, a great college soccer program. Opportunity here. The hit and oh a goal. Goodness. Two goals apiece. And that's, you said the lethal left foot of Mark Koenig. There it is. Yeah. His sixth of the season. And we're all tied up going to halftime. And that's one of those, you, you, you can't give him that much space, especially if you're on, on his left foot. You got to make sure you're, you're jumping that a little bit just to put a little bit of pressure on that ball. There's been a couple of moments where the Indy 11 have switched off and Charleston has made the king will spell him in his stead for Mecca. This will just be the second appearance he has made this season. He has played all of 18 minutes in one match so far. Way out on the edge. You got him away from being that front screen. Now can you attack that back line before you get their best player back? Ikoba's got one. Didn't miss having a second by much. It'll be a goal kick for Grinwis. That's aggressive going forward. I love it. 
Augie Williams turns and fires, and Grinwich took no chances. Lifts it up and over the bar. Corner kick coming. You know. Dos Santos, the blast, and that one past the side netting. Goal kick coming. That goal kick taken. Stanley sends it in. That's a flick. Great flick. Back oh post and goodness. Chapman Page could not steer it home. Wow. Beautiful flick, and it's a goal. Charleston in front, 3-2. Well, you just can't give a team like that that many opportunities from the corner flag. Indy is once again chasing the game here at Carroll Stadium. It's a great serve and a terrific run from Graham Smith to get into that front post pocket and be able to get a touch on that ball and drive it into a dangerous space. He's paid, taken away. Mark Hanek streaming forward. Mark Hanek. Odell the save. Williams. Blake. The bounding ball. Oh. But unfortunately, Ikoba could not get much behind that header. The battery were equal and answered every one of those ball movements with great pressure defensively. Mize trying to find Williams ball headed down. Guenzani! Oh my goodness. Third and final substitution, Josh Drack. But to make his way to the fourth official for the battery. Markanik was offside. Myers was not. Myers trying to find a window and does. Myers gets the fourth of the night for the battery. And the defensive problems continue to pile on for the Indy 11. The Golden Boot winner in MLS Next Pro a season ago. It's his third goal of the season. That's second best on the battery. And it looks like they're going to pull seven points out of nine this week in USL championship play. It's a great finish. He fights through a physical count. Good ball. Stanley. Plays it across. Great save from his backside that time by Goodwiss. Unreal. I'm not sure it's going to affect the final outcome in Guenzati against both halves of LIP AFC. And that's that. No need for further activity. Indy scores two. Charleston doubles that.